Welcome to my channel, Playing Maserati. This is day three of scripture writing. So the daily scripture writing, day three. And for day three, we are doing, these are the stickers I will show you I'm using, job eight, five through seven. So I left the list on day one. I'm going to leave a list on day two. So we're on day three and I'll keep leaving lists, like, of the next one. So I'm not going to copy all these again. I'll just copy, probably copy and paste. But we're going to be on day three. Job eight, five through seven which I already have up here. So here's five through seven. So it's not that much. So that's pretty good. And I'm using the Biblica. Let me show you the Bible before I lose it. The Holy Bible, NIV, and it's the Biblica. And the stickers, well, I already put stickers down. So let me just find the page. So this is day two, goes into the next day. So I ended up putting the square box in, you know, when we were last filming. So then I ended up after that finding my faith sticker. So I just put the faith inside there. And then if I use any stickers, it'll probably be from this one. Uh, maybe from this one, depending on if I even need stickers because I already have stickers down. But if I feel like throwing a sticker down or whatever, I mean, there's quite a few of them to choose from. And these are pretty much the same. Like, I don't even know if I will put, you know, stickers down because I already have, again, a sticker down. I mean, I don't want to overfill it. But if I feel like I want one, then I know where to find it. So I'm just going to grab these two out. Um, I'm going to move this one out the way and bring back that one. And if you are ready and you have, you know, you're doing it with me, I know I'm doing it first, so I'm just saying, like, if you're going to do it, it's, again, eight, so it's job eight, five through seven. Let me just make sure. Yeah. Job 8, 5 through 7. And let's begin. Even though this is going to be a... Probably... This should be a short video, I think. So I said we're on day 3. And it's job 8, 5 through 7. And again, I go ahead and I washi tape it. I'll throw stickers down. I put whatever I feel at the time. So we're going to do... 8.5. So at 8.5, I bring the Bible closer. It states, but if you will seek God earnestly and plead with the Almighty. So that's the exact words I write. Just need to move this over a little bit. And don't mind me, I write slower so I can actually film, think, and write at the same time. That's what you call multitasking. And then if you do the, um, what is it called in scripture? I had the word earlier. And um, it's the word. So, and I showed you a picture of it as well. If I remember to link it, I will. Uh, you can write about that. I'll, let me grab the folder, the file, the file folder. <laughs> Hold on. You can't think and write at the same time, or at least I can't. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about. I'll bring the planner back. I don't know why I move it. So it's called studying using the word and it's called inscribe I put in scripture it's inscribed so it's write observe relevant and declare write out your passage of the scripture observe key people words and themes 
what's relevant make this patch make this passage relevant to your life and declare i'm probably not even holding the straight declare and pray the passage over your life so w is for write o is for observe which is the word r is for relevant d is for declare and look at the picture it's very pretty okay so yeah so if you do the study using the word then there's that one. Put this back so I know where I have to put this one. And I gotta add more paper to it. So when I get to the sticker here, I don't need to add paper today, or at least right now. So I'm like lost in my train of thought. So when you put your sticker, I go around this sticker, and I just moved you. Sorry. So, it's probably a bad idea to show you. I would just write around this sticker. And which I will show you in one second. Uh, today's, I'm sick, so I'm out of it today. Okay, so, 8-6 is, if you are pure and upright, even now he will rouse, rouse himself on your behalf. And restore you to your prosperous state. And again, I just write that. And like words you don't understand, you can like elaborate on, you know, when you're doing this. Like you go through the dictionary and kind of like get an idea of what the word means. Like rouse. That's something I would look up. Because I didn't understand that word, so I would go and look it up. You're not going to completely understand the Bible. So to get knowledge of it, just look up the words. You could journal about it, or I mean, you could write the definition out so you understand it. Even now, he will. Okay, and then I talk to myself while I'm, like, I'll re reread the verse out loud and I put an underline under it so I know to look back at it I feel like this is a tutorial I gotta make it a little bit different because this is 31 days of this so I want to make sure you're good with it we have see like I can hear myself saying it and restore Yeah, and I have a serious, I don't know what it is, a cold, a virus, my daughter, my mother had it first, we went to go give her, go take her to get her hair cut, and then the next day my daughter ended up with one, and she's been sick ever since, I think I went Saturday, so my daughter's been sick since Sunday. So see how I went around the sticker? That's how I like to do it. And then 8-7 is... I need to find a spot that this would work on. Your beginnings will seem humble and your pros... Ugh, I can't even talk, see? Your beginnings will seem humble, so prosperous will your future be. And that is exactly what I need. A prosperous future. Uh, definitely need that. Okay, so your beginnings. See, I do this all the time. I don't even know why. So how's everybody's new year? Mine has been okay. We're only three days in, so... I know a lot of people are setting goals, setting words... My word for the year is declutter. So I'm like going through the house, finding things to, you know, just give away. Because, I mean, you seriously don't need everything you have. You want everything, but you don't need it. Okay, so humble. Oh, I just lost my spot. Okay. I want to do... 
for one of my goals is to pa practice lettering. Because, yeah, my, my writing is legible. You could read it. But I want it to look pretty as well. And I know a lot of people do pretty handwriting. So there you go. So that's what it looks like. So then I will come in for the next day. I grab this. And I'm not going to use the same washi. And I kind of like this black and white one. So then I just grab that washi. Oh, I need the roller. Okay. So it's easier to cut the washi. So then I grab it. This is basically what I do for journaling. Just put a strip down. And I love this washi. It's got that see-through look, so you'll see the line. Very faint. And then I just come in, and you can just use the ruler and if you notice the ruler has that purple edge is because I have the ruler side down where the measurements are and you have a clean cut line so here's the measurement here's the measurements and then if you see the edge there's like a sharp edge here on either side and the wood goes in a little bit, and I just use that to, you know, cut my washi. Sometimes, not all the time, but right now I just did. So then I just come in here and I'll look and see what stickers kind of make me happy. And I think it's this one. It says, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord bless you and keep you. And it's number 624. And then I just come in and I'll just put a sticker here. And yes, I am using the space I will be writing. But then I'll come in and just put day four. And so I'm ready already. I don't, sometimes I'll put stickers like here. I'll put a sticker. But yeah, I kind of like this. And then once this one's done, I put it in my journal. And that's it. This is day three of scripture writing. So the daily scripture writing. So please give this a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your family and friends. As always, thank you for watching. Let me know any ideas you have for this channel. I will be having like, I'm waiting on books to come, so hopefully they come soon. I'm waiting on a couple books that were free. And yeah, so this is my, my big thick Bible that I'm starting to like kind of wear out, which is pretty good. Usually I do it on my phone, but because I'm using my phone right now to film, I just figured I have a Bible, use it. So, please give this a thumbs up again. Hit the notification bell, subscribe, comment, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.